Hello everyone. Uh, today we will learn about the wireframe modeling. So, first of all, what is meant by wireframe modeling? So we will so first we will learn about what is meant by the wireframe modeling. What is wireframe modeling in Katia? So, wireframe modeling is nothing but creating the outer boundary of the surface. So, in the outer boundary, that is without we are increasing a surface, and after that, after that we are adding the surface to that. So, what are the benefits of using this wireframe modeling? So, first one is there is no sorry, first is no case we have to we have to create we have to create only in 3D environment we are working only in 3D environment we are working and second thing is it is very easy to modify. Just need to modify these points, point location. All this geometry will be modified. And the third one is only key points. Only key points. So no reference. We are not taking any no reference of any datum plane because we are not using we are not using the spaces. Okay, so we directly create a point from the wire to the is no ready. So there is no datum plane and no dependency. So this is very important point. There is no dependency. In the wireframe modeling. So now we will see some commands here. So first, there is a point. We have already seen that point in very in part design also, and it is same same here also. So there are point times which coordinates we can put some coordinates here, and which coordinates we can create a point. Similarly, second is the on curve. If there is a curve here, suppose this is a curve here, then we can create a, a curve here. Point is on curve, click on this curve and just put where you want to. So, this is the point on curve. So, we this created is the on plane. So, we just select the plane and select this H and V dimension there. And click OK. Similarly, create a point on circle. So, so again I will extrude this for so on surface means so just select the surface and put where you want to put where you want to that where you want that point okay similarly there is a circular There is a circular shape there, and we are not seeing the center point there. So we'll just click on the point, select the circle here, and click, and we will automatically get that point. So this way, there are a lot of types to create a point here. 
Then similarly, second is the point and plane repetition. Plane repetition. We sleep on it. Suppose I want to repeat at this point, then select this point and select the curve. So I will select that curve here. Then click on the instance set. This is what how many instances you want. And then click OK. So number of points are created is created there. So now we will create an optimum here. So first we will see how to extract this optimum. So this is this is both for uh, 2D and 3D we can use this optimum. It is used to extract one degree lower entity in the specified direction. So if we are using this as a 2D element, just select this element, select the direction, suppose let's say in the Z direction we want a maximum point. So now for this, uh, for surfaces, we require two directions, so I will first select the this, now I will select this Y direction and then we go through. So the extreme is created. Here. So, so extremum extract extract one degree lower entity and the in the specific direction. So from this surface we getting this line. So in so in this way it is a lower one degree lower lower degree. Similarly if we find the extremum if you if we extract this curve, we will get a point. So we will just extract this. Select this element, and then direction we need to select. Now here we will only need to create one direction. Then click OK. So in this way we can we will get a point here. It is a one degree lower entity. So and if we if we are finding a maximum of a 3D, 3D element, then we need to select all the three directions to extract. And it will be extracted as surface there, that is a 1 degree lower entity. Similarly, there is a second that is a extremum, extremum polar. We can use this extremum polar for only for the 2D, that is only for counters. That is cage. Only for 2D we can use this external polar. So now we will just select this counter and support. Look at that counter and uh, for support we will select this. Okay, and then can select this origin at just select this select the counter select the support and then select that origin so as it is not on the on that plane so that's why we is not selecting that origin so now click on the OK. So if you want to see that, so extreme polar, you are getting. So we can find the polar extreme. Okay, so we are seeing this as a size with a minimum radius. If we select the maximum radius, then we will get this as a maximum radius polar. So we can select that. So we, we can see that this is the maximum maximum radius polar maximum. Then similarly, the minimum angle. So let's say different direction, and then click OK. 
in all these elements. So again with a minimum angle, we are finding these are the polar extremum. So usually you can use the extreme polar and extremum. And this extremum is basically used in the during creating a junction. You can use it as in junction that is a, in creating a coupling point or the coupling curves. Similarly here the, you can use the line. So there are different types of lines again a point to point two points we have to select point and direction then angle normal to curve so let's say it is point to point so just we have to select two points here and the line is created now there is a there is one is axis axis type so So we need that we need first the extruded cylinder or ellipse or circular curve. So just select this axis, select this element so that the axis is created. So you can create the axis of that cylinder. There is another one that is a polyline. So polyline is Select the number of points. One by one, you can select the points. Select this point. Select the third point. Select the fourth point. You can select these points in line here. With, with only when you use the line. You just need to select one point and second point. You cannot continuously pick another point. So with polyline, you can select that. So please subscribe my channel and like my videos. If you have any queries, comment below. I will definitely try to solve each of them. Thank you. Thank you for watching.